Hello and welcome to this channel. I've made some notes today uh, because I'm getting. Uh, this channel is very small, so uh, thank God I'm not really have to deal with a lot of crap. But um, there are a few comments, like once per three months or something. Uh, usually with an ironic tone about bleeps and bloops like uh, it's some kind of an argument about uh, music that people like or don't like um, so I'm just gonna make a little statement uh, in case you were wondering what this is all about so this channel is non-commercial I don't do reviews I'm not selling anything I'm not uh, trying to convince you about something uh, it's about sharing ideas and about inspiring people like I I'm inspired by the work of other people um, I don't find it important to talk to to talk about myself to tell you how important I am or how uh, my work is uh, outstanding or has uh, great reviews or whatever uh, I don't want to say about where I come from what do I do and where have I studied and all these things I just want to experiment and connect with the people who like to experiment and have some kind of uh, background uh, in um, let's say for who for who is this channel this channel is for people who are informed in the avant-garde the history of avant-garde and the experimental scenes uh, after the second world war they are aware of works of uh, important composers like Stockhausen, and Xenakis and John Cage and Morton Feldman and, and so forth and so forth. Uh, people who know about electronic music and the history of electronic music, who st always start from the, an avant-garde center and expands into a more mainstream uh, audience and uh, um, a wider range of people who are making uh, incredible things in all kinds of, um, let's call them sound, sound worlds. Um, so um, it's about people who also have some kind of knowledge about the classical music history like uh, where did um, humanity stopped composing uh, or let's say that the composers of the 20th century um, realized okay we have here a dead end and we need to expand our uh, vocabulary we need to expand our sound palette and they uh, went into electronic music lots of them were already making uh, music for uh, an orchestra or for just normal acoustic instruments that we know but a lot of them also started to experiment with electronic music uh, Stockhausen uh, using all this lab equipment uh, in order to produce new sounds and uh, Oxenak is even uh, programming computers for um, to create uh, uh, sounds so um, um, the, it's, this channel is also for people who are just adventurous listeners so um, listeners who have an, a knowledge of the 20th century music history and you know a little bit of the 21st century that we live now um, so when I'm talking when when they, they would listen to some kind of weird noise from here they can place it somewhere they've heard something similar that they can place it somewhere um, and obviously also people who are not snobs and they have blind spots like um, you know music is music and there's music that speaks to you and speaks music that doesn't speak to you so we don't have to be negative about the music we don't like or we don't it doesn't inspire us but we can just ignore it and 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 or even uh, uh, listen to it you know why don't we like it what is in there that we don't like and um, hopefully we will learn more about us uh, and, and our creative um, ideas can evolve from that experience so I do not avoid music that I do not like and I do not uh, leave negative comments about it uh, which is uh, really childish behavior anyway so um, oh, this channel is not for people who uh, heard a few words here and there and they describe describe music from some kind of like um, <clears throat> with these words uh, that have no meaning at all like bleep loop bleep loops or whatever 
variation of this thing that you can find on the internet doesn't mean anything. It's just forget about it. Don't use it. And if anybody's using it, ignore it. Um, uh, it's This channel is not for people who are looking for... Uh, that They think that everyone should be making the music they like. I mean, if uh, composers would make music that an audience liked, we would have stuck to the same music from the 50s. Um, which is great music, by the way, but we cannot just leave it there, right? We have... Uh, this is not for people who do not uh, know or have no idea what all these uh, terms mean. Like, what is avant-garde? Like, it's not something that you just Google, like, what is avant-garde? It's... You've read some books about it. You've been to an avant-garde um, performance or to um, a museum that... Uh, exhibits avant-garde art um, and uh, what is experimenting and what is experimental uh, these things uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be here trying to teach people what these terms mean they're widely available the knowledge it's about taking the time to find out about it so also this is channel is not about people who use the word noise in order to describe an unpleasant musical experience. Um, this is, uh, I don't know, very ignorant and uh, completely ignores 60 years of music history. Uh, when Xenakis uh, started making his electroacoustic compositions, uh, was he the first noise artist in history? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there were other people who were experimenting with noise as a, also as a source. What is noise? Noise is all the frequencies at the same amplitude together, right? It's white noise and then there's all kinds of colors. Um, you can search about that as well, but it's not about noise. Noise music in general is um, a cluster of sounds. It uses a cluster of sounds. We can't just use noise as something we don't understand what it is. Like people have defined noise in lots of ways. There's different definitions of it. And everyone, every definition is is interesting. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. But so, it's about learning and about deep knowledge about a certain field. If you don't feel you understand what's happening in this channel, it's okay. Just go to the next one. Ninety-nine percent of the YouTube channels are for you. So this is not an elitist. I just know that this channel is for people who are interested in this precise this thing I was at the record store before and I was looking at like a second-hand classical modern classical composers uh, second-hand vinyl and the guy was trying to understand he was trying to help me and the guy who has had the store and trying to understand what I'm looking for and he just it was just, just difficult so it's it's about knowing the terms it's about ter knowing your terminology knowing the definitions uh, so we can communicate and I there's a great amount of people who uh, visit this channel and leave great comments behind and they contact me personally and then also check the stuff that I do and we have interesting conversations and that's the music that's this thing for channel it's not even an, an interesting word for it but it's a way of communication between us so um, for the curious people, for the adventurous listeners who do also do not understand all these words, this is a way to to deep to, for a deep dive. It's time to get to know these things. Like there are books about experimental music. What is experimental music? There are books about avant-garde. What is avant-garde? What is the avant-garde of the 60s? What is the avant-garde of the 70s? Who, which com artists? Not all about about music. The artists were friends with people who with other artists who were doing sounds or, or uh, paintings or uh, um, um, all kinds of installations or crazy structures or whatever things you can imagine that an artist would do. It's not only music, right? Anyway, I, um, I decided to have this <laughs> crazy instrument here in the background and a little bit of like this ambient thing going on in the background for two reasons. One, because it is a great experimental tool it's a great tool for experimenting um, but also um, about the ambient in this channel when I started making ambient 
there wasn't a modular scene and there wasn't um, all these thousands and thousands of people making making Abiant. Great stuff as well. Uh, it was uh, for me actually a therapeutic process. I was I was I had to deal with intense stress and other problems that that was causing, and I I. I had to explore meditation and Abin music helped me meditate and now I don't meditate with any other method uh, uh, that you can find out there I meditate my own way by making Abin music the whole process is just meditative it's really good for the soul and really good for the body so the Abin music there that isn't it's that it it's more let's say um, it sounds more approachable. It mo sounds more open to a wide audience. Let's say it's not not weird, crazy stuff. It's also something interesting for me because I am trying to find the limits of Abian. So in every track that you will find in this channel, you will see that it's not a typical Abian track. It's there is always something in there that is an exploration. That I'm trying to find something and uh, most of the videos anyway it's just crazy noise so you can just uh, uh, go for it listen to it and, li and if it, you're curious enough you can just listen to it again go to find the work the original work listen to the whole thing as a concept dive into all these th things that I mentioned under the video under the, the album that I made what was inspired for all this um, the name maybe names of composers names of um, interesting artists and you could just start to understand something that maybe someone w is already for 20 years busy with uh, instead of uh, 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 leaving a comment that I don't understand and I undermine it because I don't understand it. so I hope this was clear. I hope I didn't offend anybody, um, which is nowadays very easily. Um, but um, we'll continue experimenting and crazy stuff uh, going uh, going um, through uh, maybe new instruments like this one or back to my trusted uh, instruments. Um, but uh, just the last thing I would like to inform that uh, my next project will be uh, not the noise here, but more rhythmical structures and um, rhythmic exercises probably I would just um, call it better so based only on rhythm no melodies no um, uh, clouds of sounds no uh, noise no no just rhythm so that's it for now uh, till the next one bye